Hey guys, it's Chris Pree with Smart Real Estate Coach, and I want to show you a really cool chat I had, a little clip of a chat I had with David Nurse. Uh, you may know David. He wrote Pivot and Go, uh, bestseller. He is a NBA coach. He's a life optimization coach, and he works with NBA players um, on everything. When I say life optimization, but mainly getting them in shape and ready and into the NBA. And I, I chatted with him a little bit here, as you'll see in the clip. And the question for you to think about is, why do some students do a deal in literally 42 or 50 or 60 days or 70 days, right, very quickly, and others do a deal in 365 days and everything in between? Why is that? I can tell you one thing for sure after you see this clip. You're going to want to get over to wickedsmartkickstart.com and get registered for the January event. It's the 9th of January. 2021 and it will help you kickstart your year it will help you figure out how to shorten that gap and be in the stats be in the metrics of those doing deals more quickly enjoy the clip and i'm thinking okay i say this to them all the time i say listen guys we teach you all the same skill sets why do some people come out of the gate and do a deal in 40 days do a deal in 140 do a deal in 365 we teach you all the same skill sets so i always tell them it's their mindset but that's too broad so yes. I don't know what your comment is on that or your, your thoughts on that. I love that because mindset is just a way too broad of term. There's a lot of terms like this that get thrown around like culture or purpose, passion. And it's, it's great to say these words, but what do they actually mean? And I'm really big on giving actionable tools and the actual hows, not just not just saying it, in, but actually doing it. Because that's the biggest dis disconnect from knowing. We take all this information in. And I heard this term the other day, actually from a friend of mine, Steve Weatherford. He said, info We take We take all of this info in and it's great. But how do we actually transfer that into the house? And that's what with Pivot and Go and all these mindset pivots, actual doing. So what are your thoughts on, okay, so let's take that person. One of our, one of our students, we call them associates. What are one or two sure. things besides your book they all need because I'm in it and I know that, but what are one or two things they could do to literally pivot because they're stuck evidently if they're, if they're not getting out of the gate and doing a deal quickly, something's stuck. Yeah, yeah. I mean, let's let, let's break it down even further. So they're, they're feeling stuck. They're not getting a deal, but are they very motivated in making this deal happen? Yeah, absolutely. And they've studied okay. enough to have the skill sets. They're already there. We, we give them what they need for tools. Why aren't the deals happening? You know, it's confidence and all yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah, and that's where you, you set up your routines, you set up your habits to know, know that you can come back to these types of, uh, that you that everything that you've done to this point has built you up to where you're at. Now, you have, you're taking these people, they are motivated, they're ready to go, they're attacking it. It's just not happening as, well, as much as they think it's going to happen right now. So the, the biggest thing is understanding that it's never going to happen on our time. Everything we do on a daily basis is setting us up, is preparing us for the opportunity to come at a better time than we can even imagine. Now, the people that become successful and really like the people that are really gonna, going to kill it in this in sales or whatever it might be are the ones that stick at it. And I call it the 1% step. So daily, 1%, if you can know at the end of the day that you won that day 1%, you improved by 1%, that, that compounding effect is the most powerful thing there is day after day. But also, it gets difficult. There's going to be times, seasons that we go through what I call the pit. And that's where, so what you, what you have right there in this example is you start at Q1. You start with this, just this confidence. You're, you're coming out of the gates. You're ready to just take over the world. It's, it's almost like you don't know what you don't know. But, but you have this confidence going into it. And then, then you hit this roadblock. That's where you fall down. Q2 is what I call it, the quarter two into the pit. And this pit is this time where you might feel stuck. You might feel like you can't get out. It sucks. You want to give up. But the people that make that mindset pivot and look at this difficult stuck time is, oh, I'm just I'm just sharpening this this fire in the iron. This is the coal with this this fire that mixed me into a diamond, really embracing this pit and staying at it and staying true to the habits and routines that you've made to make these 1% steps, you'll come out the, out the other end so much better than the people that are just going to be giving up because it gets difficult and they feel stuck. And so it's just a, it's a culmination of a things, but just understanding that that's okay. It's going to happen. Stay with it. Stay with your principles. It, you will get through. Mm -hmm.